O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear to my cry. Hold not your peace at my tears. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm number six. O Lord, rebuke me not in your wrath, neither chasten me in your fierce anger. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I am weak. Lord, heal me, for my bones are racked. My soul also shakes with terror. How long, O Lord, how long? Turn again, O Lord, and deliver my soul. Save me for your loving mercy's sake. For in death no one remembers you, and who can give you thanks in the grave? I am weary with my groaning. Every night I drench my pillow and flood my bed with my tears. My eyes are wasted with grief and worn away because of all my enemies. Depart from me, all you that do evil, for the Lord has heard the voice of my weeping. The Lord has heard my supplication. The Lord will receive my prayer. All my enemies shall be put to shame and confusion. They shall suddenly turn back in their shame. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 9. Do you not know that in a race the runners all compete, but only one receives the prize? Run in such a way as you may win it. Athletes exercise self-control in all things. They do it to receive a perishable garland, but we an imperishable one. So I do not run aimlessly, nor do I box as though beating the air, but I punish my body and enslave it, so that after proclaiming to others, I myself should not be disqualified. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we remember before you those for whom the coming situation presents its challenges and its difficulties. For those unable to go to work, those who are left at home because of illness, and those who care for them. We remember before you those in our medical and nursing communities and professions for the challenges which they face at this time. We pray for our communities, our homes, families, friends and neighbours, praying for patience and forbearance in the challenges that we face. And we pray for our schools and for the decisions to be taken over their short-term future and the attendance of the children in those places. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And on this St. Patrick's Day, we remember and pray for the people of Ireland. We give thanks for unity and peace and for good work and ac across the communities. Almighty God, who in your providence chose your servant Patrick to be the apostle of the Irish people, keep alive in us the fire of the faith he kindled and strengthen us in our pilgrimage toward the light of everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God bless us, and show us compassion and mercy. Amen.